One thing I've really been enjoying about moving back home is the slower mornings. It's been nice to not have to get up and rush to class every morning and spend time with my dog and spend time in the word. I've been trying to tell myself that it's okay to relax and kind of slow down in the midst of looking for a job and starting to work because I've been working hard the past few years. And I think I put a lot of pressure on myself to always be doing something, to always have something to check off the to-do list when in reality, it's okay to relax and slow down for a little bit in this transition period. For my quiet time, I've been in 1 Samuel, reading all about the different kings of Israel. I was reading about David and Saul this morning. It's been very interesting to read about. And I always use the Bible Handbook by the Daily Grace Co. to help me out. If you've watched my Bible study videos before, you know that that is the one thing that I always recommend. So today I was in chapters 8 through 15. Today I had a few meetings and I had to film some content, so I went ahead and got ready. So I have been trying some new makeup lately and I've been absolutely loving it. I got a new brush set from IT Cosmetics because I've had the same brushes since like I started wearing makeup. So I got a new eyeshadow brush. Y'all, I have been using the same MAC 217 brush since like middle school. It's embarrassing. So I got some new brushes and I also got the CC cream from IT Cosmetics. It's been kind of blowing up. At least I've seen it a lot on my TikTok. So I got that and I really like this. And then probably my favorite thing that I've been trying is the Dibs Contour Stick. I got the shade 2.5. It's just the perfect shade the perfect blush shade i've been loving this stuff and i got the brush that comes with it this is the softest brush i've ever felt in my life i use this for like contour and this for powder i have had this eyeshadow brush from rare beauty for a while but i just now kind of figured out how to use it and this has added a lot to my eyeshadow because usually i just use my bronzer and i don't really put on eyeshadow so those are the things i've been using lately and i love since moving back home after college, I've had a lot of days where I stay in my PJs and no makeup kind of days, and I really want to get back into the habit of getting ready every day. I'm also going to be working remotely when I start my new job, so I still want to get ready and wear some key work from home outfits because I personally just feel more productive and I work better when I feel put together. Oh. Okay, y'all, let's talk about Valentine's Day. Because ladies, I know you're probably wondering, oh my gosh, what am I gonna get my girlfriends for Valentine's? Or what is my man's gonna get me? I have the perfect gift idea for you. It's honestly perfect for Valentine's Day, birthdays, anniversaries, Christmas, any special occasion. Your girl's gonna love getting a new piece of jewelry. Y'all know I have worked with Annalisa many times before. I have jewelry from them from like years and they're still in perfect and great condition. I actually gifted a few earrings to some of my housemates back in December for Christmas and they absolutely love their earrings. They wear them almost every day as well. I trust them and I want to give y'all some good present ideas, especially for Valentine's Day since that's coming up really soon. This time I got two new pairs of earrings and a really, really pretty bracelet that I'm actually obsessed with. I went and got coffee this morning and I wore it. It's like a watch band, but without the watch face. And I just think it's stunning. And then I wore these earrings. These are one of my new favorites. I just love that they're kind of bold, but I'm a gold jewelry gal through and through. So I always love wearing gold. And then I also got this other pair and they actually have a few really good deals going on right now they have a valentine's day sale going on and also if you use my link in the top of the description box you'll get 25 percent off all this to say they have some amazing deals going on right now and if i were you i would go take advantage of those right now because if you order now you can get the jewelry before valentine's day but like i said click the link in the description box it'll be at the top and you can get 25 percent off and it'll make your girlfriend really happy or your valentine's really happy seriously you can never go wrong with some classic timeless gold jewelry
day also once I am done getting ready for the day I like to sit down at my desk and plan out the week it's Monday so I have the full week to look at I'll plan out content I need to film if I have any sponsorships coming up if I have any meetings that week this week I have two meetings on Tuesday and Wednesday so I need to plan for those I have some content to film for Annalisa for reels so getting all of that stuff done I am such a big planner if I don't plan something out I will forget about it and I just love staying organized so so I always get a new planner for Christmas this one's gorgeous it's like a coastal grandma blue color and it's great because it gives you like the full week and then I can also plan out my months like I have February and then I might look through some emails and reply to some emails as well but for now we're gonna be at the desk for a little bit graduation they have been a lot slower i remember when i was at school i would have to wake up and immediately i'm already running around doing stuff either class or homework or just whatever the hustle culture in college is a real thing and i felt like my quiet time was really lacking in school just because i had so much on my plate and i have really noticed a huge difference being able to dive into the word more in the morning so that's really been a gift i've also been able to read more when you're in school obviously you're having to read textbooks so you don't really do a bunch of leisurely reading right now i'm reading two books along obedience in the same direction literally is exactly what i'm walking through right now just being obedient to what the lord has for me and trying to figure that out for my career and then i'm also reading i'm also reading get out of your head by jenny allen i've had the book on my shelf for years but i'm actually just now like reading the whole thing and once again it's perfect for what i'm walking through right now i've noticed since i've been back home obviously i've been more alone and isolated because i'm not living with five other girls and i tend to have more anxious thoughts when I'm alone so I'm just kind of attacking that and just letting the Lord speak into that area of my life and not believing the lies of the enemy and all the anxious thoughts so working on those two things right now and then also kind of reading through the Bible I know I just did a quiet time routine while I was in college but I'm about to make another one because within a month my quiet time routine has changed so much and it's gotten deeper and I really want to share parts of that with y'all so I'm about to start work things are picking up in that area so I'm really excited to see my days kind of pick up after that so i hope y'all enjoyed this morning routine thank you for watching and thank you for sticking around college and now post-grad new season of life and i'm really excited and i will see y'all next week bye